Hello, my wonderful viewers. You are welcome to this channel, Prof. One Tutorials. My name is Alfred Amprofi, and I'll be your tutor for today. I'd like to say a very big thank you for always having a wonderful time with me on this channel. God richly bless you for your great support. And again, if you haven't subscribed yet, kindly subscribe to this channel and share to all friends and colleagues. Now, today we are going to look at a question in WASI 2025. So, I want you to give me some few moments of your time as you go through the upcoming question. Kindly take your book, pen, calculators as you go through the question. And finally, if you have any question at all, kindly put it in the comment section as I address. And I'm also glad if you can also add any suggested contribution. I'll be very glad to hear from you in the comment section. Let's get started. As we move to the board, my amazing voice. This is Wasi 2025 question one, and I read: An intensity shuttle travels between two cities, Amamfro and Kotoku, covering the first half of the distance at an average speed of. 60 kilometers per hour and the second half at 90 kilometers per hour. The total distance between the two cities is 300 kilometers. A. Calculate for the entire journey the average speed of the shuttle. B. If the speed of the shuttle in the first half of the journey is reduced to 50 kilometers per hour, determine its effect on the overall time. So let's get a solution on the board. Solution. From the question we have on the board, we have two cities, Amamfro and Kotoku, covering first half of the distance. Because it's first half, the half here means we are going to divide the distance into two. So distance of, of Amamfro is going to be 300 kilometers divided by 2 and you are getting 150 kilometers again distance of Kotoku because it's also the second half so it's going to be half of the distance again, which is still going to be 300 kilometers over two, and you are still getting 150 kilometers. Now we could see that each city has their respective speed. So speed of amount flow. we have 60 kilometers per hour and the speed of Kotoku is also 90 kilometers per hour from the question these will be the parameters 
on for which we are going to use to find the average speed of the shuttle. All right. Now we have distance for a man flow. We have the speed of a man flow, but we don't have the time. But we all know that generally, average speed is giving us distance covered divided by the time taken. So basically, speed is equal to distance over time. In that case, if I want to make time the subject, I'll just swap these two positions. So the time will be at where I have speed. The speed will be at where I have. So I have time to be equal to distance all over speed. So now I'm going to calculate the time for a month flow. Then afterwards, I'll calculate for the time for Kotoku. All right. So time, time for a month flow. It's going to be the distance of a month flow divided by the speed of a month flow. So I have 150 over 60. And from here, we can break it down. So 0 will cancel 0. We know that 3 goes here 2 times. 3 goes here 5 times. So we are getting 5 over 2. And we know that 5 over 2 the decimal is going to be yes what did you get for 5 over 2 2.5 i hope you had the same answer like this good so this will be the time for a month flow and we need to calculate the time for kotoku Time for Kutuku. So as we calculated for the time, the distance for Kutuku is still 150 over the speed of Kutuku is 90. And from here we can break it down. So 0 will cancel 0. 3 goes here 3 times. 3 goes here 5 times. And you are going to get 5 over 3 hours. 5 over 3 hours. All right. Now, the question said we should calculate the average speed for the entire journey. So we need to get our total distance and from the question the total distance was 300 kilometers and again we need to get the total time so the total time is going to be the time for amount flow which is 2.5 and I'm going to make it 5 over 2 plus the time for Kutuku, which is 5 over 3. And from here, 5 over 2 plus 5 over 3. We can just put them together. And what did you get from your end? 
So we have 25 over 6 hours. And I hope you had it right. Good. So now the average speed as I wrote it here is going to be the distance. We have the distance to be 300. So we have 300 divided by the time and we have the total time to be 25 over 6. 25 over 6. So now we have 300 over 1. Then this division changes to multiplication. So times. Then we are going to reciprocate the other fraction giving us 6 over 25. And from here, we are going to, first of all, multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators. Afterwards, we are going to divide. So we have 300 times 6, and we are getting 1,800. So we have 1,800 over 1 times 25, we still have 25. And 1,800 divided by 25, what did you get? I had 72. And I hope you had the same answer just like this. So let me conclude. Therefore, the average speed for the entire journey for the entire journey is 72 kilometers per hour and this answer the A part of the question so now let's get the B part quickly B the question says if the speed of the shuttle in the first half of the journey is reduced to 50 kilometers per hour determine its effect on the overall time so here the speed for the first half has been reduced the speed Of the shuttle in the first half of the journey is reduced to 50 kilometers per hour. So speed of the shuttle is now 50 kilometers per hour. Don't forget that the distance is still 150 kilometers because it was half time, half. So from here, we need to calculate for the time. So I have the time to be, as we did earlier, it is going to be the distance over speed. The distance over speed now we can all see that the distance is 150 over the speed is 50 because it has been reduced. And from here, when we divide, this will take off this. 5 goes here, 1. 5 goes here, 
3. So we have the time to be 3 hours. And this is going to be the new time. But we can see that from our previous calculation, the time we had for the first half was, so let me make this one new time, and let me make here previous time. We had 2.5 hours. You can quickly check the calculation we did earlier. So over here, because the speed was reduced, then the time will increase. But we need to know the increment. So we are going to take the difference. So now the difference is going to be is going to be three. 3, 3 minus 2.5 and you are getting 0 0.5 hours and I hope you had the same thing now my question is 0 0.5 hours when we convert to minutes what will you get okay so we are getting 30 minutes because 0 0.5 hours is the same as half of an hour we have 60 minutes in an hour so half we are getting 30 minutes so in conclusion we can say that the time the time will increase by 30 minutes and this will be the effect of the overall time because the speed was reduced so it means the shuttle was moving gradually gradually so it will increase the time so my amazing viewers we are going to end here for today and in our next video there will be another amazing question stay tuned keep in touch and stay blessed bye bye